It's not one faith that creates good in this world. It's an understanding that all faiths can work together for the betterment of all. Knowing that other faiths actually share some similarities with you helps bridge that gap and like helps unite us all in humanity. When you understand faiths that are different than yourself, you're able to sort of push away any ignorance you might have and you're able to learn from each other. Faith is really key to understanding our world. Faith is key to understanding the plurality of our world, the diversity of our world, and I think it's the key way to approach the world too. And in order to do all those things, we first need to come to an understanding. Uh, first need to come to an understanding about what other people believe, not just ourselves. One of the things that happens when young people gets together from different faiths, backgrounds, and, and works on something together, they do something common. They touch each other's uh, core values, and in, in explaining those core values, they learn about how similar our values are. Founded in 1870, Loyola University Chicago teaches its students to not only learn broadly and think critically, but also to embrace diversity, to place a special focus on interfaith dialogue and understand all religions in order to better the lives of all people. Loyola University Chicago is truly home for all faiths. One of the things that struck me about uh, Loyola students, and, and students at a lot of campuses actually, is that those who are the most involved in religious student groups are quite often the ones who are most engaged in interfaith cooperation. And, and what that shows me is that it's not in spite of being Muslim or Jewish or Catholic that they're engaged in interfaith work. It's precisely because of it that the more they reflect on who they are as a Jew or as a Muslim or as an evangelical or as a Catholic, the more they think that a big part of their religion inspires them and in fact requires them to reach out and be in positive relationship with people from other religions. When you talk to people, you're able to connect with them in, uh, on a more deeper level as opposed to just like, okay, I understand you're this religion and you know, that's fine. But now if I know exactly what your religion is all about, your background, what you do and how you do it and why you do it, I can, I can talk to you about, about things on a much deeper level. We all have a commonality in the things that we believe and like there's a foundational idea of love and it's just amazing to see everybody on campus interacting with each other and everybody from all of these different faith traditions who can be accepting of everyone without any exceptions. Understanding or questioning about other faiths and learning about other faiths helped me grow my faith because, you know, I ask those same questions to myself. Whether it's an interfaith candlelight vigil on the anniversary of the 9-11 attacks or a campus visit by His Holiness the Dalai Lama to promote interfaith collaboration, Loyola University Chicago is a place where all faiths are welcome and dialogue between all faiths is encouraged and facilitated. I think it's a terrific advantage to be at a place like Loyola where talking interfaith is part of who we are. So it's, we don't have to stretch anything to say, why are we doing things across these denominational lines? I hope that that gives students a, a greater preparation for when they graduate and then start to work with people in all kinds of diverse backgrounds, religious as well as others. I think the advantage that our students have is that we are within a kind of an environment where religion and faith, spirituality is, is on people's sleeves and on people's minds so that it's not like this kind of sterile environment that they're afraid to enter into dialogue, but that they're, they're welcomed into that community. You're coming from a perspective that, hey, you know, I believe this, but oh, hey, you know, you do that? Or a lot of times what happens in interfaith dialogues is that you realize you guys are, I meaning faith are a lot closer than you actually thought. Interfaith dialogue here on campus, I think, is reversing the mold that has been um, for so long that we are coming together once again and we're confronting these things, we're talking about these things, and we're trying to understand because that's what brings us closer together, that's what eliminates that segregation. If you aren't able to understand the people around you or accept the people around you, you can never be a truly, uh, like a true community. I would say that just here at Loyola, we have an incredibly diverse student body coming from different backgrounds, different faith traditions, different cultures, and we have a really great opportunity to celebrate that also and celebrate the things that bring us together, the things that we all have in common, and also the wonderful rich differences of each of our faiths.
As the nation's largest Jesuit Catholic university with nearly 16,000 undergraduate and professional students, Loyola University Chicago has become the school of choice for anyone wishing to seek new knowledge in the service of humanity and the promotion of justice. Through active participation in faith groups on campus for students of the Jewish, Christian, Muslim, and Hindu faiths alike, it means spiritual development by exploring the diversity and beliefs of the many different religions that make up this diverse student body. This campus is a really diverse campus um, in all meanings of the word diverse. Embracing the campus for what it is. It is diverse in religion, diverse in ethnicity, diverse in interests and majors and I think coming onto campus you really get a feel for that. You really get an understanding for what diversity is. The Interfaith Dialogue really really helps, uh, gives us like a forum to be open about our beliefs and also learn about each other. When we walk on campus, it's not just us. We, we constantly contemplate ourselves in our own faiths, but our own faiths call us to just go out there and call to other people as well. If we can take what we've learned here and take the experiences we've shared and bring it out into the greater world and touch more people with that message and make more people feel welcome and more people comfortable, Maybe this sounds cliche, but that's, you know, that's how things spread and that's how we can move as a society towards being more understanding as opposed to tolerant. Religious diversity and freedom are strengths of our global community. Loyola University Chicago prepares students to positively affect the world around them, to live extraordinary lives thanks to an extraordinary understanding of all faiths and cultures. For more information, visit luc.edu.